welcome to Baby Lumpian channel. So for today, I just wanted to give you an update. Uh, this is the sixth day of um, Project 101. And as you can see, here are my snow cabbage or commonly known as Echai seedlings. So they have all grown. Um, it, most of them are two inches in height, more than two inches in height already. And this is just for the past five days. I started planting um, last Saturday, um, June 20, and today is uh, 24, so 20, and one is 24, fifth day, sorry, fifth day of um, the Grow Your Own Food project. As you can see, all of uh, the seeds have grown already on these two trays, and I also have big. Yesterday they were just too little but today you see they are almost like three inches in height. Okay. I'm gonna put you there. Okay so today aside from the updates I just really wanted to um, share with you the things I've learned for the past week of um, taking care of these little babies, planting and uh, you know just three things that I wanted to share with you. So first off, uh, first learning, <laughs> when you are trying to, when you are planting seeds, right, um, I, I learned it a hard way now <laughs> because uh, if you see for a whole, you should only plant one to two seeds because once they germinate, you see that they're crowding each of the whole. Masyado kong naparami ang pagbuhos ng mga buto. So now, they're, uh, they're there, crowded. Um, unlike here, on this second tray, you see that it's just one or two. And the seedlings are a lot healthier and the leaves are a lot thicker. Okay. So that's the first thing. So pag... Um, na tatanim kayo and binuburus niyo yung buto, be careful not to uh, put all of, you know, 10 seeds in just one hole like this one. Ang dami, kaya medyo mga payat sila. Uh, the next lesson is really to ensure that um, the soil of your uh, seedlings are always wet. They always have the moisture because it helps them grow. And lastly, um, this might sound crazy, but <laughs> I think it is really helpful as well. Um, talk to your plants. I mean, these are living things as well, right? And even if they cannot answer back, it's really good to talk to them. It's like talking to your flowers, diba? Um, sometimes our plant growers and plant lovers are talking to their plants because they say that the plants can hear them. And I think it's uh, I think it's really true because whenever I wake up in the morning, uh, you know, I greet them, good morning, good evening, and when I wake up the next day, they have grown taller. <laughs> uh, yeah, talk to your plants. Um, aside from it's distressing, uh, it's also fun. <laughs> it's also fun, and it's fun to see plants grow. That's it for today and I'm gonna see you next update. So if you have some tips for me on how to grow this better, comment down below. Um, give me your suggestions and recommendations, alright? I'm gonna wait for that one. Till the next time, ciao!